tight end ended up never quite finishing it. And you know how I never like letting people see my unfinished work, especially if it leads you out into the void. Anyway, looks like you defeated the Gloik Queen, so I guess the adventure's over. Your reward is a delicious digital feast cooked by our head bubble chef. Mm, made with all the love I'm legally allowed to give. You know, I am pretty hungry. You didn't even do anything. So what? I can still be hungry. Well, not really, because we don't need to eat, drink, or sleep in this digital world. So the digital food here only gives off the virtual sensation of eating without any of the nutritional benefits. Sheesh, lay off it. Since when are you an expert on the digital world? Expert on the what? Get an Airbnb that's friendly for everyone. You can't handle the heat, Pops. Dad, you're getting cooked out there. Yes, Coach. I'm sorry to say, you're being traded to Montana. But I'm your father. That's why this is so hard. What team is in Montana? Pothmo from the Amazing Digital Circus is still alive. And I know what you're thinking. How could he be alive if he abstracted... In the first episode. Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what happened to Kothmo, the reason he got abstracted in the first place, and find out if he's still alive. If we want to find out if Kofmo is still alive, first we need to look into what happened to Kofmo in the first place. Well, you may think the answer is obvious. What happened to him is a lot more complex than you would think. Kofmo was a full-fledged member of the circus like everyone else. And if you listen to the intro of the episode where all the characters were introduced, originally all the characters' names were sung as they were supposed to be, including the part about Kofmo. But as soon as his name was said, where is he? Instead of a real character, we just saw a cardboard cutout of the clown, which implies that Kofmo was not showing up that day. Conveniently the day Pomni joined the circus, which I have a theory that Pomni is Kofmo's replacement. It makes perfect sense because Kofmo was a clown and Pomni is a jester, which are two very different things. And the creator mentioned that there were too many characters in the circus and they needed to get rid of one character to add in Pomni. But that's a whole nother theory for another day. If we want to find out if Kofmo is still alive, we need to find out how long Kofmo has been a resident of the circus. Well, it's not known for sure. Many people and myself believe that Kofmo has been in the circus for only a relatively short time. This is proven by the clip where Kanger says Kofmo has been acting more and more out of character lately. I am penetrable fortress! You wanna come with us to check on Kofmo? No, not really. I think Kofmo's gone insane. Last time I spoke with him, he was rambling endlessly about some exit. Kind of like you, Pomni. This proves that Kofmo has been acting out of character for a while, and he didn't just start acting like this overnight. This may sound strange, but Kofmo is a clown, and a clown is the backbone of a circus. I mean, really, can you think of a circus that doesn't have a clown in it? My point is that Kofmo was the star of the amazing digital circus before he disappeared. But what does this mean? Maybe every clown archetype that joins the circus automatically just knows a little bit more than the other characters. This is very easy to prove just by looking at the reactions of all the other characters when they talk about the exit. I'm more than sure if Kofmo was with the crew in the first episode, he would have sided with Pomni immediately. And as we know, many characters 
characters have abstracted before Kofmo. Kofmo was a good-natured and funny guy who understood the horrors of what were going on in the circus more than anyone else. But even with knowing this, he still remained really cheerful and upbeat holding the circus together. As Ragatha told us, our clown was always trying to make a joke or cheer everyone up in some sort of way, but not everyone appreciated it. Before the abstracted Kofmo attacked Ragatha, she confessed to him and apologized for not appreciating all that Kofmo has done for them. Wait, maybe there's still time to fix him before we get Kane. Ah! Oh, whoa, Kofmo, listen, I know we didn't always get along, like when you called me out for fake laughing at your jokes. I swear I really did think they were funny. I was just having a bit of a bad day. But if we want to find more about what happened to Kothmo, first we need to find out why Kothmo abstracted. With all of our current information, it seems like all the characters who started going crazy ended up abstracting. Even Zubul ended up admitting that it was very strange that Kofmo abstracted because she thought that Kinger would be next. Which is not too crazy to assume because it seems like Kinger has serious problems. He is very anxious, screams all the time, and behaves very strangely, and yet he is the longest live inhabitant of the amazing digital circus. But it was Kofmo who abstracted? We all remember Kanger saying that Kofmo was always trying to talk about getting out. The obsession became Kofmo's main problem, which led to his disappearance. In this case, one could easily argue that it's not the characters who suffer from mental disorders who disappear, but those who have gone insane with thoughts of leaving the circus, which would be Kofmo. But I have undeniable proof about this that will tell us what ultimately happened to Kofmo, which brings me to my next point. We've already seen that Kofmo started out as a funny character, but nobody found his jokes funny. Maybe besides Ragatha, but even that is questionable. And I'm sure that this did not make staying in the digital hellscape easy for him. Gradually, he went from being a happy, cheerful guy to being a depressed man with obsessive thoughts that dictated the rules of his life. It's not exactly known what kind of relationship our clown had with the other characters of the circus, but we can safely say that at least Ragatha always laughed at his jokes and Jax did not care about Kofmo or anyone else for that matter. In fact, it's likely that Jax actually played some sort of role in tipping Kofmo over the edge, because it's known that Jax likes to mess with other members of the circus as shown in this clip right here. They broke my comedy mask. <laughs> So, Kane, we having a new adventure today for the newbie, or what? So Jax actually could have played a part in abstracting Kofmo, but back to my main point, Kofmo did not have enough support from any other members of the circus to snap out of it and get back to normal. The other characters hardly encouraged him, thinking he was crazy when he started talking about his way to escape the circus, kind of like what happened to Pomni, which only reinforced his belief that nobody needed him here. Everybody remembers what Kofmo's room looked like, and I doubt it's always looked like this. In fact, I doubt Kofmo drew this all in one day. This is something that would take weeks or months to draw, which proves that nobody ever visited Kofmo's room to see how he was doing or ask if he was okay. And in Kofmo's room, you can see a huge number of exit drawings. And there are various pictures that we don't understand yet, where Kofmo is depicted as an evil clown or the strangest picture where he has drawn himself, but only in a dissipated form. But the main picture in Kofmo's room is a drawing of an evil looking cane where he has huge fangs like a dog or a wolf, instead of the usual teeth he has, chasing after the unfortunate clown. But this drawing will actually come in handy to figure out what really happened to Kofmo. Is it the final vote? We'll finally know which egg is loved most, Reese's or Cadbury. Choose what really happened to Kofmo. Now that you have all the information you could possibly need about Kofmo, we're going to find out what actually happened to him. As you know, Kofmo started going crazy by looking for a way out of the circus. He realized that he had to get out of here because everything he has seen so far was a lie. We all noticed the strange drawing where Evil Kane is chasing Kofmo, where it looks like he's trying to eat or destroy him. But why is that? If you think about it, Kane actually becomes very strange and evil at the mention of an exit. Because we know he's AI, it's likely that he was programmed to do this. But what does any of this have to do with what happened to Kofmo? Well, I just found a scene that perfectly illustrates what happened to him. <laughs> ah! 
As we know, Pomni and Kofmo are very similar. Almost too similar. So it's almost guaranteed that Kofmo saw the exits, the void, and the basement, where all the abstracted characters are hidden in form of monsters. But if he went insane enough to get abstracted, we can only imagine what more he has seen. But what did Kofmo see that Pomni didn't? The computer in the desk of the office in the exit rooms. We all know that this computer plays some sort of significance in the real and digital world, as we see it in the circus at the end of the show when we zoom out of the void into the real world. So I have a crazy theory where Kofmo discovered this computer and saw something on it that led him to ultimately get abstracted. This is supported by the drawings you see on Kofmo's wall just before he disappears, realizing all the horrors of further life here. Kofmo was trying to imagine one of the exits he saw from the information on the computer. And as we know, he found himself in the same office as Pomni. But not understanding what to do next, he quietly explored and came to the last room, leading to the void. Like Pomni, Kane was able to recognize this and teleported Kofmo back to the circus. But Kofmo, determined to leave, tried a few more times, and each time Kane managed to stop him. Perhaps after one of these attempts, the very situation that Kofmo painted on his room actually took place. He left that as a clue to the rest of the circus on what Kane can really do. He wanted to let the members know that Kane is not to be trusted and should be feared. After many failed attempts, Kofmo had an idea on how to outsmart Kane, and he got into the void without anyone knowing. But why the void? After Kofmo realizes that Kane is not who he says, he assumes that the void is just a room that leads nowhere, and where the character will stay forever. Then, Kane would just most likely leave Kofmo there to wander around for the rest of his life after so many attempts to save him. But no, he saved him every single time, which means that going through the void is somewhere the characters are not supposed to be. There would be another door leading to the basement, and Kofmo knew that because he has gotten there himself after doing all of this. Kofmo realized that there is a real world outside of the void by outsmarting Kane. And Kofmo was able to get out. Once Kane realized this, there was nothing he could do. After all, all of his power is inside of the amazing digital circus. And the only option was to make Kofmo look like a complete psycho that has gone too far. So far, in fact, that he became a disintegrated, abstracted monster. And Kane has clearly done this many times because there is a lot of strange monsters in the basement that look the exact same. It's as they are all pre-programmed NPCs that Kane creates in such cases. And so we can say that all the other characters who are no longer in the circus didn't dissipate at all. But on the contrary, they were able to escape despite the horror going on inside of them, and finally got out of this terrible place. But why do the monsters stay in the basement after Kane puts them there? Well, I just found the answer. See, Kane has to maintain his mechanism in the circus that when you start freaking out and seeing exits about how to get out of the circus, a character is bound to see the basement behind one of those doors. At this point, Kane will explain that all the other characters who suffer the exact same thing as Kofma will eventually also end up in the basement. So the characters being sent to the basement is just a way to scare the other members of the circus. But this brings us to our last point, and I finally answer the question that you guys have all been waiting for. Yes, Kofmo is still alive. In fact, he is in a lot better of a state than anyone else who has escaped the circus. For what we know now, he is a free man in the real world not having to endure this digital hell anymore. The most important thing in his life will be to understand the principle of how humans got there. After all, it has been long known that Kane and Bubble are artificial intelligence, and all the other characters are human. Maybe it'll take weeks, months, or even years, but given Kofmo's tenacity and what the circus has done to him, it seems to me that Kofmo will be able to understand the process that's going on and stop it, thus preventing even the slightest chance of new people entering the circus. So now you know what happened to Kofmo, but if you want to find out who's going to abstract next, I'll answer it in this video right here, and the answer might shock you.